What's always been important to me is to have a dialogue about what it means to be alive, uh, how we can experience transcendence, how we can become. Jeff Kunshine è una mostra che copre oltre 40 anni di carriera di uno degli artisti più importanti al mondo, Jeff Koons, l'artista per cui si sprecano i superlativi. Quindi una mostra che possiamo definire completa, ma allo stesso tempo legata ad un tema specifico, quello del riflesso, della luce, shine, quello delle superfici riflettenti che caratterizzano dall'inizio sino ad oggi eh, uno dei fil rouge principali della carriera di Jeff Koons. Gli spettatori si ritroveranno quindi immersi, riflessi, in queste opere che lo catapultano in altre dimensioni, in altri spazi e tempi, come qui nel caso delle Gazing Ball siamo a contatto con una storia culturale che dura più di duemila anni. You know, I'm really excited to have this exhibition at uh, Palazzo Strozzi called Shine. Uh, I worked on this exhibition with Arturo uh, Calenzino and along with uh, Joachim uh, Pizarro. And the idea was really to show the, the essence of my work, what I've been trying to do with my work over the last uh, over four decades. When I was a young artist, I realized that art can be this amazing vehicle which can connect us to all the human disciplines. And that gave me the ability to be able to experience art and that I could experience transcendence. And at the same time of having this understanding, I became aware that I could empower myself by accepting myself. And if I was able to accept who I am as an individual, then I could go outward and I could accept the rest of the world. The exhibition Jeff Koons Shine, which is presented at the Palazzo Strozzi, offers a particularly striking and unusual selection of works of art that all offer an unusual quality, I mean a very striking quality, which is that shininess. What that means is that each work that you see around uh, reflects the light inside you. The viewer sees themselves inside the, the, on the surface of the works of art. So there is therefore a very conscious, very striking effort, very interesting in, intention on the part of the artist to engage with the viewer. The gaze of the viewer is directly activated, you might say, is, is, is made even more alive than ever through its uh, vision and its, its exchange with each one of the surfaces. That's the first thing. The second aspect of shininess is one that's also very important to Jeff Koons, and that is a more philosophical aspect of this. It's this kind of inner light, inner shiningness that each one of us possesses to various degrees, and that you might call uh, a spiritual engagement with art. In other words, what Koons does hope to achieve is to liberate that physical and metaphysical potential that each one of us has in ourselves through an engagement with those glorious sculptures. First, I would like uh, to say uh, thank you. Thank you to the, uh, the president uh, of the region and to uh, Mayor Nardella and to uh, Consul General Gupta, to Italy and, uh, and to the United States. But, you know, I have to pinch myself. Uh, I am so honored to be sitting here. Uh, 
I always just wanted to participate in life about a dialogue, about what it means to be alive, what it means to be able to understand the situation we're in, how we can make the, the most of it. And I ended up uh, being pulled to the arts because I, I eventually realized that it so effortlessly connects us to all the human disciplines. And when I realized that, I, I, my life transformed. And I feel the same way to this day. Every day that I wake up, I feel so fortunate that I can continue to become. And art has been that vehicle. It's let me be in contact with our, our forebears. I mean, I, I, I love how um, art has taught me to be able to find something greater than myself and to truly experience love and to give it up to people every day to go outside myself, to practice acceptance, uh, to embrace everything and uh, to remove judgment and uh, segregation. And, uh, you know, I enjoy so much uh, to love Michelangelo and uh, Verrocchio, and I love the way they loved other artists. And, you know, you can, you can uh, look at a Rubens, and Rubens is showing his love of Leonardo, and Leonardo of Verrocchio and Masaccio, and they go back to the ancients. And this aspect of love is really what helps us become. And to me, that's uh, shine is really about, for me, self-acceptance. And once you are able to accept yourself, you're able to go out into the world and accept other people. Uh, it's how we can have a greater, more meaningful, faster life for me. But I want to thank everyone so much for this opportunity. We are here in one of my favorite rooms in the exhibition, the statuary room, uh, in front of this phenomenal sculpture called The Italian Woman. I'm not going to tell you what she is, you need to find out by yourself, but what I'm going to tell you is what you see, which is that she shines in front of you. And this notion of shininess, as I said before, is in fact uh, the, the fold or the vessel for a much richer, much more complex and fascinating uh, message on the part of the artist. I'm just going to mention something quite obvious, she shines, as all the sculptures do in this particular room, because of what? Because they're made out of stainless steel. Stainless steel is a material that produces this shininess and sends you back to yourself. That effect of self, of sending you back to yourself, uh, this idea that this shining, this light, pushes you, it pushes itself inside you is the message that the artist is hoping to have you experience within yourself. You know, we're here with the, uh, the rabbit. And when I think about the rabbit, why I made the rabbit, what it kind of represents to me, you know, all of my works in the exhibition Shine are based on ready-mades. So the rabbit was already made, and I wanted to have this dialogue with the inside and the outside. Uh, you know, we are filled with air. We take a deep breath, we're inflated, and when we exhale, we deflate. And the rabbit's the same way. You know, I'm from Pennsylvania, and in Pennsylvania, uh, many people will put gazing balls, which are glass globes that are reflective in their yards. And to me, that was always a symbol of generosity. These globes would tell you exactly where you are in the universe at that moment. And if we look at the rabbit, it's really kind of the first gazing ball in a way that I worked with because its head is really referencing this kind of autobiographical experience that I had growing up. In art, uh, in all the areas of humanity, it's so important to be generous, and I think the rabbit's a symbol of that. We're here with Hulk's tubas, 
And this is the first time that I've ever shown this work to the public. All of the works are, make some reference in some way to ready-made objects. So uh, the Hulk is a, comes from a ready-made inflatable, but the tuba also was inspired by a little harmonica that I found in an airport one time. And the harmonica was only about this big, but it was called a trumpet harmonica. And it came out and it had these five different kind of trumpet ends to the harmonica. So this is a working tuba. It makes a lot of noise. Uh, it's loud, it's amplified. And uh, the Hulk's tuba has always also kind of reminded me of Hercules uh, fighting the Hydra, where you have all the different heads of the, uh, uh, the Hydra and you have the different uh, uh, heads of the tuba. In the uh, Palazzo Strozzi exhibition in Shine, you can see some of my earlier pieces from uh, the kind of the late 70s. And what I enjoyed about the works was the affirmation that these objects that are, are sitting in front of these mirrors, these inflatables or sponges, uh, they're affirmed, but you're affirmed. And when you move around, you can tell there's a little, there's a difference. Everything's dependent on you. Without you moving, nothing happens. And so this starts a dialogue, and I'm not so conscious about what this dialogue is, but it's about uh, affirming the art experience is totally a personal experience. And what's really relevant is you and your interpretation of that moment. I used to think a lot about subjective art, and subjective art is really about the self, and I would think objective art is about the external world. But I really realized that the journey that art can take you is self-acceptance. But once you really have self-acceptance, the highest, most objective art is the ability to accept others. And that's really what it's about. I mean, you're able as a community to become more. A higher transcendence than just by the self is with the community. And I just thought I would just outline a few of Alejandro's saying, if you don't know his work, he's a very important thinker, writer, filmmaker, artist, and he's also an incredibly incredible thinker that allows us to think differently. Um, and so that's the first lesson. If your sensitivity is intense enough, you don't need drugs. Because really, the art and the sensitivity you can find in yourself and in the outside world. And that's completely Jeff Koons. Because when you look at a work of Jeff, to use one of Jeff, Jeff's words, you can be intoxicated, but in an incredible way. And you're just there, and you see everything, and you see yourself, and you see all the world around you. And, then, and yet, you, have, you haven't taken any drugs. Second aspect, um, we know yourself. Know yourself in everything you're part of. And that's at the very center of your work, Jeff, which is a work of self-discovery in yourself and um, in everything that is around you. And then, third saying that Alejandro always quotes, and it's super Kuntzian, all is one, all in one. And that's the very center of your practice. We are all connected, cosmologically, biologically, humanly, all of us together, all of us on the stage, we're together. And when you're in one of Jeff's work and you see the reflections, uh, you know, we're all in it together. I mean, you know, all of Jeff's work are, you know, biological forms. And Jeff sees in that way, as well as seeing a reference to our history, and, oh, and the reference to our history, the reference to your body, the reference to the plant, all of this exists together. So Jeff's work is very much about being aware of everything around it, not taking drugs, living through it, and uh, you know, that is why Jeff is an incredibly serious, uh, pragmatic, idealist, new age genius artist. That is really what is at the core, that's the basis of the show Shine. How we're able to experience the self and then experience everything else that surrounds us in the world.